Josh Roman of And she's 21, Cruz is 29. A little bit of a height advantage for Shields, a little bit of a reach advantage for Cruz. Of course, they know each other's style well. Shields owns a win over Cruz on her way here. All right, their professional debuts tonight, and I'm looking forward to this one. Looking forward to seeing how Clarissa transitions to the professional game. Let's see if you'll sit down on those men. Also, the documentary star of T-Rex. This is some kind of mistake. Their fight for gold. With his fate. Attitude never say die, and that's combined with his fate. My time was coming, I just ain't know how much time it'll take. They hear my soul and she tell me, cause I ain't she signed it book away. Oh, and I never will. With I hope I'm always real. Being this was too late. How the fuck do you get me to live? How the fuck do you get me to live? away from it. Is that ring announcer? Jake and now, Coutier. fight fans from the T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada, we bring you a special attraction scheduled for four two-minute rounds featuring the super middleweights. Our judges will be Bert Clements, John McKay, and Ricardo Ocasio, our referee in charge of this bout, Russell Mora. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner. She entered the ring wearing purple, black, and silver, and she weighed in at 168 pounds. Tonight, fans, she makes her professional debut from Baltimore, Maryland. Please welcome Franchon Cruz. And her opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. She's wearing white and gold, and she weighed in at 167 pounds. She was a highly decorated amateur boxer, including world amateur champion and a two-time U.S. Olympic gold medal winner tonight, making her professional debut from Flint, Michigan, introducing Clarissa T-Rex Shields. Referee Russell Moore calls Centering. He's a four two-minute round. Okay, Super trunks here are good, trunks here are good. Ladies, we went over the rules in the dressing room. You know I expect a clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. God bless you both. Touch up. All right, so we're set to go. Here's Shields decked out in the uh, in the uh, white gold and in the purple, black, and silver is Franchon Cruz. Whoa, look at this. Right away, uh, Shields comes cracking. Love those with the two-minute ground. You see a lot of quick action right away. This is Leila Ali-type dominance that Shields has. And we'll see if he gets Fred John isn't taking a step back either. Fred John wants to move eight. But this is getting all this publicity. She took it away from me and took my chance to go to the Olympics. She's going to let it fly for as long as she can. A little bit more beefy than uh, is... Uh, the shields, but they both weighed in. Let go. No, no, stop. Let go. Respect them. But this is just throw your ears back and let fly. This is an amateur style boxing. Well, look at that hand speed of shields, though, huh? Yep, uh, the jab gets there, the right hand gets there, blazing hand speed, and that good movement. Left foot. Boy, I see what they mean when they say she's a technical fighter, gets the jab up there. Short with the right hand, gets it right back right away here. This is a round one of a scheduled four rounds. I mean, we, we talk about the Layla Ali inspiration. Let go, yet, let go. The weight class, similar. A lot of similarities in how they fight. And, uh, and she's got backing now. And she talked about the fact that she didn't think there was a lot of attention being given to the Olympics. So she wanted more endorsements. And this is her way of trying to get some. Now she wants to be a... Uh, a mouthpiece for female boxing. You know, it was uh, several years ago when Christy Martin, the gold miner's daughter, you know, really brought women's boxing to the forefront and it continued on to the career of Layla Ali. And it's been kind of dormant since, although there's some nice female fighters around. One man, Layla McCarter, who lives right in this town in Las Vegas. Marissa Shields a lot more busy than his French John. Let go, hands free. French Stop! Let go, let go. These are fighters. Time! That ends the first round. That's a shield round. Little uh, disorganization in the corner of uh, Larissa. They didn't have that uh, stool in there. Leon Larson is a trainer. Jacob. 
Kevin Durant and Stanley Cup for it. And Andre Durrell will also work that corner. Over this side with Fran Shine, you get uh, Barry Hunter, Chris Hunter, and Glenn the Zoo. Yeah, I got it. Good right hand up. there by Shields, and then she Second steps up. back, and she would find more openings. All right, here we go, round number two. This is scheduled for four rounds. Marissa Shields is decked out in the white trunk. She's the two-time Olympic champion. Stop! No! No, no not that. Down. Throw some more right on top of it, but uh, don't shove her down. Don't shove her down. Let's go. Let's go. That's under the no love loss category. Yeah, exactly. Right back up, Clarissa, blasting away at her. Clarissa Shields and T Rex in the front of her trunk. Coming straight at her, blast into the body. Stop! Ladies, watch your hands. Watch your hands. Good jab in the right hand by Shields to the opening. She's had the edge in the foot. Shields to the left of your screen. Hey, one thing, Dave. French uh, has a computer to uh, roll it up and say, okay, you're the Olympic champion. You know. She a ton of credentials Stop. herself coming in here. Oh, yeah. So, you know, several time champion. And uh, this was the step up to her. You, know, you come up with a big night, all of a sudden, you, you put yourself in the lock. The bell ends at round number two, and that's another shield round. Go to the body. Drop down to that body. Kick your feet out. Down and go up. Deep breaths. Yeah, if you want to knock around, that's that that body, bro. Yeah, I'm telling you. All right, we already discussed this. The second round, that's what it was supposed to be. Nice deep breaths. Relax. Hey, hey, Dre, um, I need that spray bottle. Grab that spray bottle for me. That's why I like to have a fourth man on the ground. Thank you. Pace. You feel me? You fighting her scheme. She trying to time you with the overhand, then pull a hook. You got to hold the phone. Double, triple the jab and step around. All right? If we got a dog with her, let it be the last round, not early. You got to be smart tonight, baby. Trust me. Come on now. He's right, too. I got you. Yeah, you're going to be a dog way to the last round. Grab that bucket. All right, this is round number three. The Colonel Bob Sheridan here with Dave Von Temple. We're at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's been for three on a preview of three fights. This is the third of which you get to see the two-time Olympic champion and Clarissa Shields in the white and gold against that uh, franchise Cruz, who turned uh, professional tonight as well. They both in their debut as professional fighters. They face each other and they Prior to the 2012 Olympics, and the 16 year old kid have won that fight and not a good goal. You don't usually see for a first fight, uh, somebody coming out of the Olympics, to have such a tough contest, somebody who is an elite level member like yourself. But you know, the thing is, uh, Dave, I think that they want to showcase, knowing this is going to be on the television around the world, that they want to showcase her to get the interest up the shields on a, on a fight of this magnitude. Good to know she's done on the main card. This telecast right now, the red door has been seen by literally hundreds of millions of people around the world. There's a lot of backing for her. In fact, the Mark Tapper, one of the major HBO executives, who's a kingmaker in his time now, is a co-manager for Shields. And he said tonight, hey, guys, I picked up a laundry, I did this. I'm not doing these other chores for her. He's a lot of building her, so she had a lot of fun. Get your hands free. 
Don't hold, don't hold. Franchon okay. hasn't been able to do it. But the corner the monitor from doing that is, you know, punch and step around and try to blindside here with the right hand. He caught it with the left hand that time. A little more look of concern on Shields' face. Part of that fatigue because with these two-minute rounds, they just sort of put their ears back and let us fly. He switches up off the second, then comes back over the dock. Yeah, three punches in a row. Bang, bang, downstairs, upstairs. I don't know if he's with that one. I can't wait for the fourth round because at this stage, Cruz is going to have to go dog and go after him. Because uh, Shields has won the first Deep three rounds. blow it out. Deep breath and blow it out. One more. Now, all that garbage you talk to me on the phone, you here now. Now we got to work. You, you understand me? She just a regular girl. You feel me? Slow the fight down with your jab. Up and down. This is the last round? You can dog with her now. All right? You can dog with her now. How you feel? When the fight changes. And Shields on the outside. That was one of the best shots of the fight here for Cruz. Elbow follows up, <laughs> and then she got some of her better power punches through in that round. But got it. Time to go dog. Give me that time. All right, it's uh, Barry Hunter says it's dog time, so let's see if she can go dog. And then we find out what going dog Catch gloves, these catch days, gloves. Too. Last <laughs> round, ladies. I know what it means. It's done you, folks. Here they go. It should be two minutes of the war win war. T Rex. Marissa Shields, the two-time Olympic champion. Yes, for you can't speak. I know what I'm doing. That's a good down. I got you, I got you, I got you. I got this. Let me take this, okay? Let me take this. Don't push her down, okay? That's the second time. I get it. Okay, good job. Let's go, let's go. Oh, she loaded up that way. Shots coming in from Shields. Great shot, eight time champion. We're seeing the elite of the Olympic class going out of here. Hands free. So hard fight, but uh, so far, Shields has landed more punches in the first three rounds than the last three rounds. 45 seconds to go in this fight. It's a four rounder. Two minute round, you can put the gas. And again, hands free, hands free, and hands free. They've got a pretty good rise out of this crowd. They have, hands free. A lot of people know who the uh, Shields is. But the, the way they have North Sea's attacks. And yeah, you know, the two minute rounds are all out of people like Angler. And the people that got here early enough are getting their answers. Given uh, Beautiful. Cruz Beautiful. that round. You would be David. Yes. Yeah. All right. So I thought she thought the well. She did. <laughs> so let's go to 39, 37. People uh, in attendance and lots of people on their uh, feet and that uh, and rewarding the two these ladies for putting on a very good fight. Remember, this was their professional debut, but they didn't strike like two women in professional debuts. And why would they? Because they're two of the most active amateur fighters in, in boxing around the world. And this was the time. Franchon gave the fight. Yeah, baby. She got that job. 39 37 with the official Yeah. 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 And have a lot of impact. And how about Franchon holding up again? Here's Jake Gutierrez.
And ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of this special attraction, Super Middleweight, sponsored by Zappos, we go to the scorecards. All three judges, Ricardo Ocasio, Bert Clements, and John McKay, scored this bout 40 to 36 for the winner by unanimous decision in her professional debut, Clarissa T. So the three judges gave all the rounds. They didn't give Cruz the last round. I thought she won the last round, but my score doesn't count. The important thing is they got it right. The unanimous decision victory for Clarissa T. and her professional debut. That's a good one. And we'll see more of her, I'm sure, down the line. Yeah, nice performance.